Hello, and we're back on the air with more Extreme Championship Wrestling. With another big show this week, We in the main event, it is going to be Pitbull number one and Pitbull number two against Killer and Psycho the Texas Hangman. Rob Van Dam, this manager Bill Alfonso will be in action against Louis Spicoli. And in our opening match, it's going to be Jerry Lynn taking on Juventud Guerrera. That is our opening match of the week. So let's roll for initiative here. Jerry Lynn's going to start us off. Six into the turnbuckle, so he's going to send Hoovy into the turnbuckle. And Hoovy's going to reverse that and send Lynn into the corner. And I think, let's see. So Hoovy's going to hit a big kick on Lynn in the corner. Hoovy's on level two offense here. Two, spin wheel kick two. Two, hurt two. One, tilt a whirl, slam two, power. He's a plus two. Jerry Lynn's a plus one, so Jerry Lynn powers out of that move. Three, end of the ropes. He's actually going to think twice about that and do level one offense. One, arm ringer one. Five, hurt two. Five, springboard drop kick three. Two, pin. Okay. Since they're both juniors, we're going to use the better Hoovy. Um, so he's going to have a two pin rate in here. So he kicks out of that. So Jerry Lynn two out of the ring so he's going to send Hoovy out of the ring and it's going to be uh out of the ring b so jerry lynn comes out of the ring and slams Hoovy on the cement we're going to see if Hoovy gets counted out and he does not so jerry lynn's on level three offense here two he's going to send Hoovy back out of the ring so four so they get into a brawl on the outside here so that's going to be not be a dq for either man Hoovy. Rolls here, and he does not win the brawl. So Jerry Lynn on level 3 offense. Uh, top rope her can run a 3 choice G. So Lynn's going to go to the top rope here. 4 on death jump B. Opponent climbs to the top, but you recover and throw him off the turnbuckle. And into the ring, he goes down hard. Hooventude is going to roll on level 3 offense here. 4, air hoovy 3, 3 pin. Jerry Lynn's got to beat a three here. And he does. Hoobentude on level three offense. Two. Death jump. So he's going to go to the top rope here. And Jerry Lynn recovers and tosses Hoobie into the ring. And Jerry Lynn's on level three offense here. Six. Cradle pile driver plus one. So Hoobie's got to beat a five on this roll. And he does. But Hoobie is piling up some fatigue here. Uh, three. Slingshot dive three one hurt two one tilt a whirl head scissors two two dazed one four chop the chest two agility so minus two and hoovy's a minus three so hoovy reverses the move and he is on level two offense here so four hurricane run a three four down three one northern light suplex two choice f Okay, so he's going to go for the running lariat, which is going to work on an eight or less here. Oh, okay, he gets he gets it, and Jerry Lynn's going to roll on level three defense, so five hurt two after Hoovy hits that big running lariat. Five, springboard drop kick three, four down three, six, 450 splash plus two, so Jerry Lynn's got to beat a six here, and he doesn't get it. Your winner of the match is Hooventude Guerrera. Even though Hoovy was using his um, junior version of the card, I do see that as kind of an upset. So up next, it is going to be Rob Van Dam with his manager, Bill Alfonso, taking on Louis Spicoli. So Rob Van Dam did pick up a win over Lord Zoltan last week, so he's looking to go for two for two with a win here. And, oh, they're going to just keep tying here. Okay, Rob Van Dam is going to start us off. So for 
Outside leg sweep two agility. He's a minus three. Louis is a zero, so the move works. Five hurt two. Four standing moonsault three. One hurt two. Two rolling fireman's carry two. Four down three. Uh, two out of the ring, so Rob Van Dam tosses Louis out of the ring and he crawls back into the ring to beat the count. Rob Van Dam is still on level three and Van Dam's going to toss him back out to the outside. They get into a brawl on the outside. We're going to roll here. If it's even, Spicoli wins and he does not. So Rob Van Dam gets the best of him on the outside and rolls him back in the ring. One death jump, so Rob Van Dam is going to the top rope here, and he hits a flying clothesline on Louis Spicoli, going back to the top here. Ooh, that's a three on death jump B. Opponent comes off the top with an awesome cross body block, but okay, so he got, he hits a cross body block on Louis Spicoli. Spicoli rolls through, and he might pin him here, and Rob Van Dam kicks out. Louis Spicoli is on level three offense here, though. Three out of the ring, so he's going to toss Van Dam out. And Van Dam crawls back in to beat the count. Uh, two, hot shot three, choice G. So Spicoli's going to go to the top. And five on death jump A. Opponent climbs to the top, but you recover and throw him off the turnbuckle and into the ring. He goes down hard. So Rob Van Dam is on level three offense here. Five, five star frog splash plus two. So Spicoli's got to beat a six on this roll, and he does. Van Dam is still on offense here. Five, Van Daminator. Add one to Spicoli's pin there. Six, hurt two. Six, split-legged moonsault three. Four, pin. He's got to be to six here. And he doesn't get it. Your winner of the match with the... What was that? The split-legged moonsault is Rob Van Dam. Rob Van Dam is off to a good start here in ECW. Okay, so it is time for the main event. And it is time for some tag team action. And it is going to be Pitbull 1 and Pitbull 2 taking on Killer and Psycho. It's the Pitbulls versus the Texas Hangmen. And it is going to be Pitbull 1 and Killer starting us off here. Okay, we're going to roll for initiative here, and Killer's going to start us off. Three, back elbow, two, agility. So Pitbull number one is a minus one, and Killer is a plus three, so Pitbull reverses that. Five, spine buster, three. Three, hurt two. Five, spine buster, three. Six, down three, but let's see what the switch command is here. Okay, so we're going to roll two dice, and on an eight... Uh, okay, so the move doesn't work. So they don't switch out. So Killer is down on level three. Okay, I'm going to keep Pitbull in here. Pitbull is on level three offense. Four, overhead, belly to belly, three. One, hurt, two. Three, roundhouse kicks, two. Six, hurt, two. Let's bring Pitbull number two in here. On level two offense, two, clothesline two, one, killer two, five, bulldog three, six, hurt two, one, kick to stomach one, five, pit bull number two, one, five, headbutt two, power, so he's got a minus two, killer's got a minus two, so the move works, four, hurt two, one, Flying tackle in corner two agility. So Pitbull number two has a better agility rating, so that move works. Five, killer one. One, headlock and punch one. Two, hurt two. Six, pummel in corner three. Four, hurt two. Let's bring Psycho in. Okay, so Psycho coming in on level two. Offense two, flying elbow ram two, five, pit bull number two, two, four, bear hug two, choice B. So let's send Psycho into the turnbuckle. So we're going to roll on turnbuckle B. So five, you lift the knee to the oncoming opponent's head. He is hurt. 
Roll on level two offense. So Psycho on level two offense here. One, stomp the chest two. Five, pit bull number two, two. Three, into the ropes. So he's going to send Psycho into the ropes. We're rolling on C here. Opponent uses one of his special moves. We'll just say a big clothesline. Um, and goes for the kill. Opponent rolls on level three offense. So pit bull number two on level three offense. One, Tombstone Pile Driver, three choice G. So Pitbull number two go on to the top rope here. So five on C. Pitbull number two hits a flying clothesline, and he's still on level three offense. Uh, three out of the ring, but there's two stars here. Let's see. Tag matches with Pitbull number one. Roll two dies. Rolls of. Okay, so we're going to roll two die here. Okay, five. Substitute with Doomsday device to floor. Okay, so they, they did the Doomsday device to the floor, so we're going to add token to Psycho here, and he's going to roll on level three defense. Four, hurt two. One, flying tackle in corner two, agility. Six, Psycho one. Three, snapmare and elbow to head two. Five, pit bull number two, 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 clothesline two. Four, hurt two of the tags. So we're going to see if Killer comes in, and he does. So Killer entering the match on level one offense. Four, forearm to chest two, power. So both men are minus two, so the move works. Six, pit bull number two, two. Six, gorilla press slam three, four. Four down three. We're going to see if Psycho can tag in. And he does. Nice defensive tag there from Killer. So Psycho comes in on level one offense. Two overhead forearm one. One dazed one. Two for overhead forearm one. Three dazed one tag. That's going to bring Pitbull number one in on level one offense. Three, chop the throat, two. One, hurt two of the tag. We're going to see if Killer comes in, and he does. So Killer coming in on level one offense here. Two, one-handed choke, two. Six, dazed one. Six, into the ropes. So he's going to send Pitbull number one into the ropes. And we're going to say Killer hits a big lariat. And Pitbull number one goes down hard. Killer is going to roll on level three offense here. Six, Hangman's backbreaker plus one. Okay, so Pitbull's got to be to four here. And he doesn't get it. Your winners of the match are Killer and Psycho, the Texas Hangman, which honestly, considering how they've performed as a team across several promotions for me, I think that's a bit of an upset. Well, that is it for this week. So join me next time. And thanks for watching as always. See you then.